from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back into East Texas Live on KETK. Joining us now, the one, the only Sam Greenberg with Greenberg Smoked Turkeys. We are being shown how to carve a turkey today. Thanks for being We're going to try. This We're going to try. <laughs> well, Without injury, <laughs> I might add. It's to keep the knife away uh, out of my hands, then, because well, I'll hurt somebody. I, by accident. This is. Including this turkey, this is, I, I think I've done maybe three of these in my life. Oh, so okay. We, we'll see. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, so we, we've got medics on standby then. Good, good. Um, listen, we've been doing this for 80 years, and people all over the, all over the you know, this area made our company what mm -hmm. it is. And, you know, we love the turkeys, and uh, I thought we'll show people how to carve them because everybody has trepidation on how do you carve a turkey on Thanksgiving Day. And there are only two important things. That slit right there for our turkey, so that you can peel the skin back, and it's like its own wrapper. And then we make a slit down here, so that every slice comes off perfectly. Now look at that. It's almost like you've been doing this for a I've long time. I've done it once. <laughs> I've done it once. Now, you know, for the real at a meal if you're going to do it I recommend taking the breast off completely just continue this cut straight down the breast carve straight into the turkey like this and take the breast off they come off like this of course remove the skin nobody wants that I, I just want to point out, I wish y'all could smell could transmit through TV right now because it's taken everything I have in my body just to not eat this right here in front of everybody. Well, you can have this one <laughs> and just carve every slice. You can do them all and they all get a little of that seasoning instead of just a few slices with it. Uh -huh. Every piece gets some of the seasoning. Now that's truly fantastic. Oh, there you okay. go. Well, you got to try some. All right, I'm breaking my rule of never eating on TV just for this, just because I've heard so much about these turkeys. You haven't had one? I have not. The station hadn't gotten you a turkey to break you in? They have not. Do you enjoy that? Joe, I do. Good. Good. That was fantastic. <laughs> not to talk with my mouth full, but oh my word. That's, That's pretty darn good. It is. It is. I'm going to finish that one here in just a minute. Okay, so talk to me because we were talking to break really quickly. Uh, you were on a list of Oprah's. Oprah's favorite things back in 2003. Uh, totally unexpected. A friend of mine that I grew up with all the way through elementary school did some work for her. And he gave her a turkey at Thanksgiving. Next year, she calls and orders her own. Wow. And the next year... She asked us to be on her favorite things. Uh, a wonderful opportunity. It exposed us to thousands and thousands, well, tens of thousands of new customers. It was, it was, a, it was a great thing. Uh, I, I can't thank her enough. All right. Well, talking about customers, do we still have time to place oh, an order for Thanksgiving? Absolutely. We, in this area, the, the, the area that would be watching this, we have plenty of time to... Uh, you can walk out, come out, you can go to your local uh, Brookshire stores, have them. Um, there's plenty of time. If you want to ship one off, you've got until next week. All right. So uh, make sure we have the order by Saturday and we can get it anywhere in the country All for right. Thanksgiving. So if we're good for Thanksgiving, then you still got plenty of time for Christmas to head out there. Oh, absolutely. I did want to ask you, okay, so I perused your website, right? So y'all have got more than just the turkeys. You've got the recipes online for us there. We too. do have some recipes. Uh, uh, my sister has made up some. I mean, we, yes, we do have recipes. Uh, but my favorite thing is carving it and having some uh, white bread and, and mayonnaise. Uh, I, <laughs> you, I can't eat enough of that. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Well, so if we want to place an order, if we want to find out some more information about y'all, get your hands on the recipes, where do we go? Gobblegobble.com. And he ain't kidding. <laughs> At first, I thought they were kidding, and I did it, and it was right. And that's good branding, too, good advertising. Uh, that was the, one of the number one things that uh, the younger generation of the family came up with. They, uh, 
I didn't even know what the internet was at the time. And they came to me with uh, that web address, gobblegobble.com, and, uh, you know, that was uh, very fortuitous. <laughs> All right. Well, Sam, we appreciate you being on with us this morning. If you didn't catch him carving this turkey, we're going to have it all for you over on East Texas Live, uh, KETK.com, that is, with a link over to y'all's website. We always appreciate y'all being on the show. Thank you very much. All it was right. a pleasure to be here. Of course, of course. We'll stick around, guys. we got more East Texas Live coming up after the break, including a look at your job board posting for today. I'm going to dive into some turkey while Andrew does the weather.